Hi, and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Boku Bell. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji. And we're playing one of my favorite games, flat out ever, uh, Dragon Quest Builders, which I've never played any of the other Dragon Quest games, but I used to play a lot of Minecraft, and this is a delightful combination of the two. Yeah. No, it's, it's got a lot of character and visual appeal that I it's like think is Minecraft, but with a story and decent graphics. With really cool characters, and it's uh, it's pretty beautiful, which I really enjoyed. I originally played this on the PS4. Uh, it came out recently for the Switch, and so I snagged it. There are three, four worlds, and we're starting out on the first one on Chapter One, Cantalin, and time to design a character. My design a character. favorite. Man, it's got more character options than uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, God. Um, I will never stop talking about that. Let's see. Until let's we get character see. options for Zelda, anyway. Well, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's so a I nice wanted combination. To, yeah, I wanted yeah. to name her Grape. Um, my last character was Apple. And now I'm just going to... That's cuter. Yeah, that's cuter. Mm. Okay. Yeah, um, so we'll name her Grape. Um, I loved Apple, my last character. Um, so we'll see how Grape and Apple differ. Uh, well, one will be that I won't spend 30 hours making a grape for every set of bones, which is something that I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you buried, like, <laughs> you buried, like, an entire castle worth of, uh... Yeah, every skeleton I came across in game, I made a grave for and a grave marker. Um, I remember that. That was certainly an experience. It just—it's just the way that I—I I, I don't. It's how you process grief. Or obsessiveness. It was truly soothing. Uh, so art thou, so art, thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Uh... Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Can we stab it yet? <laughs> thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsidereth? <laughs> tis, a, tis an offer few would refuse. Fade out. Oh! I spelled my name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I kind of thought it was on purpose because, like, they've got those those grape infused <laughs> apples. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Grapple. <laughs> At long last, I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. And it was misspelling grape. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by thy power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Grapple. <laughs> I tried. Hey, you're waking up in a grave. That's not ominous. Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> that name's gonna come up a lot. <laughs> it's gonna get me every time. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I see, so you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you move freely. Yeah. Let's get moving! <laughs> jumpeth! Jumpeth! Runneth! Jumpeth, jumpeth, runneth! Thank goodness, all seems to be well. F. F. You can fulfill with your role. Fulfill with two L's. Grapple, fulfill my child. Your role. <laughs> I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may. What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but is it not the fate of the world more important than... <laughs> nope, need a nap. Oh, my poor child. It is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Yeah, muscle degeneration and hunger will do that. Here, my child. Take these white petals that definitely don't look like wads of paper. You can use them to restore your vitality. 
Oh, she's adorable, my angel. Oh, yeah, she's great. I love you, Grapple. <laughs> <laughs> Grapple, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can make stuff. Yeah, so the the plot of this whole game is basically all humans have lost their tool use abilities. Oh. Um, for like a century or more, maybe not much more, I can't remember. And you, you basically have just figured out you have opposable thumbs. So it's nice. like every post-apocalyptic story that generations later humans still haven't figured out how to stick two things together and wrap <laughs> it with duct tape. Yeah, basically. <laughs> You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Okay, I'll go through this pretty fast. Um, it's been a little while since I've Your played. Your crafting table. Yeah. Wonderful. You have made your first creation. Gravel. You literally... My child. You literally ground up some petals. You have a power shared by none other in this world. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever, the power to build new things from raw materials. I'm just picturing everyone else when they feel bad, they just eat a bunch of those flower petals and they're just nom nom yeah. nom. And nom. light just shines out of their mouth every time three combine. <laughs> now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Uh, but they don't have tool use, so they don't know how many petals they need to eat. Yeah, it's they, true. They, they don't know how to count. They don't know how to. <laughs> okay. Oh, X. Okay. Yeah. Great. You are healed. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. I am an adorable, sweet Chipipo. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. And that's dumb. Don't forget that's dumb. <laughs> and that's dumb. <laughs> However, the menace and the women who inhabit this world have lost of that power of creation. <laughs> Grapple, my child. A sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... Hmm? Well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... Very well. Very I tired deity. These are very understanding gods. It's a goddess, actually. <laughs> right, no spoilers, of course. I forget. I no, will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch. Basically, 2001: A Space Odyssey. <laughs> well done, Grapple. <laughs> Within that humble, broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Okay. So that you may strike with mon foes. So I can strike with mon foes. <clears throat> Upon the noggineth. <laughs> Upon the noggineth. <laughs> Upon the noggineth. <clears throat> I love noggineth great holiday drink. Congratulations, <laughs> my child, you've created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. I have mastered hit stick. <laughs> hit thing with stick? Grapple, my child. You've been entrusted with a divine mission to... Hmm? I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you rather not learn more <coughs> of? Very well. To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press A to... Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, A. Equipment. Equip. Um. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost this power, they've awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Grapple. My child. The dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest you on your shoulders. You look like you're taking a nap. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... Napping. Grapple. <clears throat> you are. <laughs> you're not asleep, are you? Fellow narcoleptic! Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break... Okay, we gotta get some dirt. I mean, they got... They got ever-burning torches Wait, here. why'd you break that? Um, because I want to take it with me. Oh. Later. I was like, what if you have to make more things? Uh, I think I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna be using dirts. Which is good, because that's all you're getting. Well done, Grapple. That should be enough. Press X to play. Yeah, every god does tell you what buttons to press to do it right. Yep. I appreciate that attention to detail. 
So this game has a story mode and a creative mode. And, oh, I don't need that. I need that. Uh, I've played a little bit in the creative mode. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Okay. It's gonna take me a little bit to get a hold of these controls. A uh, lot of skeletons and some shackles down there. <laughs> that's cool. I'm sure there's nothing anonymous about that. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Ooh, there's a lot of white flowers there, though. I also do want true. those. I don't think I took any falling damage. You but... did. Oh, I did? Yeah, and falling damage. <laughs> okay, cool. Good thing you got those flowers. Mum, mum, mum. Mum, mum. Um. I'm a crafting table. A human crafting table. It's also funny that she's named Grapple, so a grapple is uh, made by this company whose name I forget, but off the top of my head, it's basically just an apple that's been gassed with the, uh, the fake, um, uh, fake grape flavor. Like, overwhelmingly so. Oh. Um, they're very secretive about... Sorry, guys. It takes me a little bit to figure out how About to the do process. This. Yeah. Yeah, very secretive about the process. Um, and, uh, do not like the use of synthetic anywhere in the description of the grapple. So the grapple <laughs> is a completely artificial thing. It's not a genetically or, uh, genetically modified organism. It right. is a... So uh, they just infuse an apple with grape flavor yeah, until so it tastes like grape? It's an apple that's been gassed with grape until it's given up. <laughs> well done, Grapple. It's, you have found your way back to the outside world. It's just a apple that's been waterboarded with grape juice. Literally, yeah. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard before you. Light lost, Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabited it... This somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled to dust. But they couldn't just live on Star Wars for a century? You know, somehow it didn't work out for them. <laughs> Grapple, my child! You've been trusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt, and the people of Alephgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive I'm me. laying it on pretty thick. <laughs> <laughs> My child. After having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. <laughs> Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. You will regret that, God. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. so I mean, you did. After you finished building the Great Wall That's and, true. and burying all of the skeletons. A lot and... of hot springs, a lot of uh, butch bedrooms. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world and the role that you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Oh, and grapple. There is one last thing you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Uh, so this game does not really incentivize combat. You don't level up um, through combat. Combat is actually pretty risky, and you have to be kind of smart about it, um, which I'm not. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> the land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications. But all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Grapple! My child. You must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alfgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow unto you a gift. A stick! Nice. A stick with some cloth tied to it. Nice! This technology is thousands of years beyond them. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Oh, you're going to claim land with flags. I know how this works. We're going to plant a flag on it. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantalin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantalin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Okay, so we're going to turn Cantalin into Canlin. Okay. Oh, is it pronounced Canlin? No. Okay. It's a pun. It's beyond me. We haven't constructed puns yet. That's uh, fair. 
Yeah, so this is... Um... The power of creation and wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not great at, at one of those things. Um, a lot of this game is about uh, just helping people and solving problems. There's not a lot of glory hunting. There's the constant reminder that you're not a hero. Um, if you were here, you'd get experience points for beating things up. Yeah, I mean, and, and you just you just don't. Yeah. Um, though you do get items, so sometimes it's useful. Um, you do have to watch your health meter, so I'm grabbing some fruits. Um, and more flowers. Yeah, and I'm going to get some branches because my stick is probably going to break soon. Oh, um, is there a, a weapon, like, wearing out mechanic? There is weapon degradation. Yeah, there, there uh, is. It's um, not terribly extreme, but... So here are the ruins of Cantlin that we're looking at right here. Um... Obviously nothing there. I still have the Banner of Hope, which I am going to place. Uh, and this creates your main save point for the game. Ah. Um, we'll eventually be unlocking portals. Uh, a warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Planting your flag, okay? Yeah, base. Um, and I'm gonna save. Grapple. I cannot believe. Anyway, <laughs> um, so here's a, a sweet new friend, and you can see that she has a uh, friendship set of hands over her head. Mm. What's this funny flag doing here? Kicks it over and runs off. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine here now. Is the structure. There's something special and inviting at this about this place. It's so bright and also <laughs> inviting. Man, I wish the narrator read my words. My name's Pippa. What's yours? <laughs> uh, your residents will make requests. She has a request. Probably walls. <laughs> What's that? You're the one that planted this flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm standing... I'm so... We're so close. <laughs> <laughs> now kiss. Now kiss. <laughs> you don't remember? The goddess told you to come here? So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. Uh, fair. <laughs> oh, this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? I mean, it's just dirt wall. But yeah. <laughs> Grapple, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin alone. Your first step <laughs> in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join you in living here. Hell yeah. Little remains of this dilapidated house. Save the door. Repair it by filling it. Okay, yeah. So, um, for a, for a thing to count as a room in this game, it has to have a door, it has to have a light source, and it has to have walls two blocks high. So, oh, that's, that's what I'm gonna go do. It's good that there's some standardization there, you know? I was just given dirt, because the game doesn't trust me to have collected enough. It was a blessing bestowed upon you by the goddess. Rebus. God gave me this dirt! <laughs> okay. Very practical deity. All right, got to fill in all the holes for Jesus. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and let's. What's up, Pippa? Wow, that's incredible. The walls were all full of holes, but now they're as good as new. Huh? You fixed it with dirt? I thought you were just a weird girl with voices in her head. <laughs> but you completely fixed that broken old down house door. You must have some kind of special power. The power of thumbs. Stacking one thing on top of another thing. Here, take these. <laughs> I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's the materials to make a lantern. Oh, no, it's more nope, petals. No, it's just more petals for me to just rub all over uh. my skin. Actually, I love that the first thing that we make is a skin cream out of white flower petals. Nice. That sounds emoliating. I want to... I want to lotion up right after this, actually. Oh, and she has another... So, yeah, let's take a look at Pippa. How cute is she? Oh, she's I like great. the side ponytail. She's adorable. It's a good she's look. She's a sassafras. And... <laughs> let's get a look at both of us together, because right now we're rocking the uh, sort of sack look. Yeah. Oh, but you can see some some slimes. Um, so the size of the town is always uh, this, That's this border of light. It doesn't stop monsters from coming into it, but it stops them from spawning inside of it. That's handy. Uh, and I would be happy to make more 
potions and uh, help Pippa with her next quest uh, next time on Endless Mode. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep doing voices and spelling things real bad. <laughs> well, I mean, they started it. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> My love. Grapple. Grapple. I thought it was on purpose. I thought it was a great thing. No, it was on accident.